Hello guys, today I want to show you a practical example of enum class combined with Laravel custom exceptions from one new package. So the package is login links for Laravel, passwordless login links. It just creates the links for five minutes or so. I'm not sure I would use it myself, but I will still link the package in the description below. This is by Ben Burstrom. And while looking at the code, I noticed one very interesting solution which I want to show to you. So in the migration of that package, there's a table P links with one field, tiny integer of status, default zero. Then in the model of that P link, it's casted to P link status class. And that P link status class is actually enum, which you have already seen. And these are all possible status values for P link status. So a name and a number, which is a pretty typical use case for enums, because then elsewhere in the code, you can reference the values as strings in human language instead of remembering the numbers. But what is not that typical, I haven't used it or seen it used this way is each value has error message. So inside of the enum class, there is a function error message and each value has its own text. Now, where it is used? In the main controller of that package, get controller for the link, there's an action class, new attempt p link, which has a handle method of basically processing that link, whether it's valid or not. And it has a few private or protected method inside of the same action class. And here we have the status error messages. So first, validate status. If it's not active, then we throw exception with that exact error message. So error message come from the value from the database, which is cast to enum in the eloquent model. And that becomes the error message of that exception. Similar down below, validate not expired. If the condition isn't met, again, throw exception with error message and so on. In some cases, we specify the error message from specific status value, not from the database, but basically you get the idea. Now what that exception looks like, if we take a look at that exception class, it's almost empty, just overriding the message. So the question then is why would you create the exception? So for someone who would use that package in their Laravel project, it would be beneficial to know the kind of exception, the class name. So it would be clear that the error comes not from Laravel, not from other packages, but from specific this package with exception name mentioned on the error page. So the error page of Laravel would clearly state that it's a p-link attempt exception. So yeah, a quick example of enums combined with exceptions for error messages. I thought it would be pretty cool to show you. What do you think? Any other cases of enum you find in your own project or in others? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.